Hey, I'm Surya from GrandSlamFunnels.com and today we'll be talking about uh, the backend system setup for a webinar funnel in Go High Level or any white label version of a Go High Level. So let's get right into it. So a couple of weeks back, I built this funnel in ClickFunnels. So I'm going to take this as a reference. So let's consider this as the funnel when someone opts in here, what would happen in Go High Level. So there are five different stages that uh, the customer would walk through on Go High Level or any white label version of Go High Level. And just a quick reminder saying that um, I kept these workflow setups, these stage setups or these step setups in a more generic way. I did not customize them. But if you want a customized uh, backend setup, go to GrandSlamFunnels.com and uh, let's get you a call to see how we can make that happen. So there are five different stages that the customer would walk through in the Go High Level. The very first stage is uh, the opt-in flow. This is the workflow that would trigger whenever someone submits this form and uh, the second flow is uh, the webinar delivery flow and this is uh, where I deliver them the webinar training itself this is not a follow-up flow the follow-up flow would be coming later which is the third step itself this is where we want them to take the action it can be make a purchase or schedule a call with your team on you so that is where the end follow-up flow sits in and the fourth one is notifying the sales team. If you have a sales team, uh, we'll notify them to make sure that uh, the sales team can start taking or calling the leads right away. And the fifth thing is client onboarding process. Whenever someone makes a purchase, what would happen there? So these are the five different stages that the customer would walk through. And let's look at each individual stage on a much deeper level. The very first stage is uh, the webinar opt-in flow. So there are a couple of things that would happen in the webinar opt-in flow. And one of the things is... Uh, the very first thing that would happen is uh, adding a tag to the contact itself because this would identity this would help us identify which form did the lead uh, opt in for if you have multiple traffic sources that you are sending traffic to this funnel for example if you have multiple funnels one dedicated for youtube ads one dedicated for facebook ads one dedicated for organic so we want to make sure that we have an identifying respective tag in the back and associated, which would happen here. If I saw that we can actually identify that this lead has came from Facebook ads, this lead came from YouTube ads, or we can have the same setup in UTMs as well. Again, that is a whole different conversation, but I'm just talking with respect to workflow setup. Okay. And as soon as that happens, I'm notifying the sales team and I'll walk you through the flow when uh, we talk about the sales flow or sales team notification flow. Okay, and as soon as these tags are done, we'll be removing removing the contact from this workflow. So, which were and which would make them go to the next stage of the funnel, which is uh, the webinar delivery flow. The second step is webinar delivery flow, and the whole intent of this flow is to remind the potential customer or the lead or the people saying that they have actually opted into this flow. It's like reminding them saying that, hey, go here, watch the training, and I'm not asking them to take an action on the training. No, no, no. The whole intent is what's the training itself cool it's like an ad okay let's consider this as an ad very easy right so that is what happens and as soon as they go through this flow again the the workflow setup is wait for a specific time frame send an email wait for a specific time frame send an email and uh, as they go through this flow i would add them a tag saying that they have completed this process which would trigger the third step and as soon as a tag is added i would remove the contact from this flow because i do not want them to in this flow so the third step is follow up flow whenever actually someone completes the webinar delivery flow that would trigger the follow up flow and anything related to follow up which includes emails sms or ringless voicemails being sent out would sit in this flow again i kept it very generic but if you want a custom, uh, customized setup for the world follow flow, go to GrandSlamFunnels.com and we can talk. And the workflow setup is wait for a specific time frame, send them an email, send them an SMS. And if you want to send them a voicemail, you can do so. And that is what the whole workflow would be like. Wait for a specific time frame, send them an email, send them an SMS. And what goes in that email would be different. And we can, we can talk about that as well in a different uh, video, which is not the scope of this video. At the end of this flow, I'll be adding contact with two more tags. And the very first tag is adding them to a daily nurture sequence. If the contact is at this stage, it actually says that they did not make a purchase or they did not schedule a call with your sales team or whatever action you want them to take, they did not take it. 
so which means that if you might want to add them to a e daily email broadcast sequence so that you can actually build that trust factor show them credibility saying that you actually can deliver results and also uh, build that goodwill so that is the whole intent of adding them to a daily email nurture sequence list okay and once that is done i will also add them saying that i'll add them with the tag saying that they have completed this process which would actually help us identify how many people are going through the follow funnel flow and how many people are actually scheduling a call so rather than just looking at an ad dashboard uh, either can be facebook or youtube we can actually have that same data analyzation in the backend system as well so once that is done we will actually remove the contact from this workflow which would be the end of the follow-up funnels. The fourth step is uh, notifying the sales team. If you recall in step one, we have added a tag saying that sales team would be notified and uh, that would actually trigger this flow and we are not wasting any time here. So as soon as someone opts in, we are notifying the sales team saying that, hey, someone opted in, feel free to reach out ASAP. So that is the whole intent of this flow. And I have a web hook here because let's suppose if you have, uh, if you want to send that notification in Slack, so we would use this webhook with a Zapier integration uh, to notify the sales team in Slack saying that when someone opted in, uh, assign that to the specific person so that the sales team can actually start the backend outreach process. So that is the whole intent of the sales team notification flow. And uh, the other flow that we have, the last but not the least, is uh, the client onboarding flow. So whenever someone made a purchase, a product purchase, for example, I have a product called Grand Slam Ads, which is uh, another product that I have. So whenever someone made a purchase of the product, I do not want them to go through the follow flow, right? So uh, there are two things that I would do right away. First thing, say that this person actually made a purchase and also remove them from the follow flow. As soon as the need is uh, removed from the follow flow, uh, we would send them, uh, we could do a lot of actions. And one of the actions that we can actually do is notifying the sales success manager or the client success manager saying that, hey, someone made a purchase start the client onboarding process and uh, the client success manager can actually take it from there and also the other thing that we can actually do is like uh, send an onboarding form saying that hey here are the next steps that you need to take action for us to actually help you and we can also add an sms saying that hey uh, your process has been pro your order has been processed and uh, you are good to go uh, these are all the steps that you can actually include so whatever i shared is more like a generic flow but if you want a more customized flow setup done for you go to grandslamfunnels.com and uh, let's see how we can make that happen for you cool have a wonderful day